Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of differential equations. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us let y equals y of x be a solution of a differential equation which is given to us as dy over dx is equals to tan x plus y divided by sin x into sec x minus tan x into sin x. So that is the differential equation given to us and the question tells us that x belongs to 0 to pi over 2 and satisfies the condition y of pi over 4 equals 2. The question is asking us to figure out what is the value of y of pi over 3. So we have to basically figure out at x equals to pi over 3 what is the value of y. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options are root 3, 2 plus log 3 to the base e. Second answer choice, root 3 into 1 plus 2 times log of 3 to the base e. The third answer choice we have here is root 3. 2 plus log of root 3 to the base e. And the last answer choice we have here is root 3 over 2. 2 plus log 3 to the base e. So let's figure out which of them is the correct answer choice for the question that is asked to us here. Let's try to solve this question and find the solution. Before starting off with the solution for this question, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis and it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible so you understand them in a better manner. Let's try to solve this question further. So if I have this differential equation given to me, which is dy over dx equals to tan x plus y, I can write this dy over dx is equals to tan x plus y divided by the denominator, it's sin x into sec x minus sin x into tan x. So this is your entire differential equation that is given to us. Now, if I further try to solve this idea, let's see what I get here. So I have dy by dx. If I try to simplify tan x, I can write this tan x as sin x divided by cos x plus y. Denominator, I can write as sin x. Sec x, I can write as 1 over cos x. Sin x as it is. Tan x, I can write as sin x over. So if I try to take out some things common and first cross multiply the numerator, I get sin x plus y cos x divided by cos x. Denominator, sin x. Cos x is common from the denominator. 1 minus sin square x. So we have this entire thing. Now if I try to figure out and cancel some of the ideas, cos x, cos x cancels. What you are left with is sin x plus y cos x divided by this becomes sin x. 1 minus sin square x from the identity I know it is cos square x. So we have this idea. Now further if I separate the denominators with both the parts of numerators, let's see what I get. So sin x divided by sin x into cos x sorry, cos square x plus y cos x divided by sin x into cos square x. So let's see what I get here. So from here I get this sin x, sin x cancelled. From here I get one cos x cancelled. So if I see what I get here is 1 over cos square x which is sec square x plus y Divided by sin x into cos x. Let's take it on the next page and further try to solve this idea. So I get dy by dx basically simplified as 
sec square x plus y over sin x into cos x, which is there. I'll multiply it with 2. So I'll multiply the numerator also with 2. So I get sec square x plus y or 2y. This becomes 2 sin x cos x is the expansion of sin 2x. So that makes it sec square x plus 2y cos x of 2x. So you get dy by dx in this terms. Now once I have this with me, if I try to convert it in the general form, I can write this as dy by dx minus 2 cos x of 2x into y is equal to sec square x. So if I compare it with my general form, dy by dx plus py equals q, I get from here p is minus 2 cos x of 2x and q in this case is sec square x. So we have p and q and once I have p and q I can just use the general ideas that we have for both of the differential equations. So I can write this form of differential equation whenever it is there. I know from here first I have to find the integrating factor which is e raised to integral of p dx. If I further try to put that we know p already from here we have that as minus 2 cos x of 2x dx. So if I have this e raised to minus 2 out because a constant and integral of cos x of 2x. Now let's find the integral of cos x 2x. To, to find that first we'll use the idea of substitution here. Let's put 2x as t. So I get from here 2 dx is equal to dt or I can write dx as dt over 2. So basically my if would become e raised to minus 2 integral of cosec t dt over 2. So this 2 and 2 gets cancelled and you get e raised to minus integral of cosec t. We know it is natural log of mod of tan of t over 2 plus c. So we get this. We don't even need to write c because we are just finding integrating factor not the solution. So if I further try to solve this I get this e raised to natural log of mod of tan of t over 2 raised to minus 1 e raised to natural log of f of x we know it is just f of x so that gives you tan of t over 2 in the mod raised to minus 1 that basically gives me 1 of or 1 over mod of tan t by 2 and we know we have put 2x as t so here if i resubstitute i get this is 1 over mod of tan x so I get the integrating factor already with me. That is 1 over mod of tan x. Now we know for this general form of differential equation, I can also find the solution by comparing it with the general form, which is given by y into if is equals to integral of q into if into dx plus c. So if I have that y, if I know it is 1 over mod of tan x is equal to integral of q. q in this case, if I see it was sec square x. i f, we just figured out it is 1 over mod of tan x plus c. If I want to find the integral of this entire idea, let's see how to solve this further. So from here, what I can do is I can write this y over mod of tan x is equal to here, to solve this integral, I can write this as, let's put tan x as t. So from here, when I put tan x as t, I have sec square x dx is equal to dt. So once I have that, I get from here integral of this, it's dx. So sec square x dx becomes dt over mod of t plus c. So I get here y over mod of tan x is equals to this becomes natural log of mod of t plus c and if i resubstitute i get y over mod of tan x is equals to natural log of mod of tan x plus c so if i get this idea i'm just taking this mod of tan x on the other side and if i do that i get y equals mod of tan x into natural log of mod of tan x plus c. So you have this solution of the differential equation. Once I have the solution to find the constant of integration c, 
I'll just use my first condition and that condition tells me if I see it says y of pi over 4 is equal to 2 means at x equals to pi over 4 we have y equals to 2 so let's put it at x equals to pi over 4 y equals to 2. So if I solve that I get y equals to mod of tan x means mod of tan of pi over 4 so tan 45 which is 1 into natural log of tan of pi over 4 which is 1 so natural log of 1 is 0 and plus c as it is and y in this case we were told it's 2 so 2 equals to 1 and this is 0 plus c so basically it is 0 plus c so c in this case is 2 so constant of integration i've got that as 2 now once i have got constant of integration as 2 further let's find out what is the question asking for so the question here was asking us to find out what is the value of y at x equals to pi over 3? So if I see my solution of the differential equation, it was y equals to mod of tan x into natural log of mod of tan x and plus c. c in this case, we got it as 2. So let's just put at x equals to pi over 3. So at x equals to pi over 3 y equals to mod of tan of pi over 3, which is basically tan 60. Natural log of mod of tan of pi over 3 plus 2. So, plus two. so from here I get mod of tan of pi over 3, tan pi over 3 means tan 60, which is root 3. And in the bracket, log of root 3 plus 2. So natural log of root 3 means log of root 3 to the base e. So if I see this basically matches with root 3 is everywhere present in the outside. But in the bracket, you have 2 plus natural log of root 3. So if I see the answer choice that matches here with the question. At x equals to pi over 3, root 3 we have everywhere out. So this gets cancelled first. So this cannot be the answer because it has root 3 over 2. In the bracket, we have 2 plus log of root 3 to the base e. So this also gets cancelled. This also gets cancelled. So this gets the correct answer. So C becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using the idea from differential equations. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JEE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JEE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions that we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.